wanted me to show you this book annotation system. Uh, I and my friend Jacob wrote a book about Django, which is a web technology. And we, because it's an open source thing, we wanted to open source the book, because we don't really care about making money on the book. We figured it's a tech book, it's going to become obsolete, uh, given how fast we develop this thing. It's going to be obsolete pretty soon, so make it, make it open for free. So the thing, thing that is relevant here is that every chapter uh, has a contextual comment system where you can leave a comment on a paragraph. And the thinking here was, yeah, we could just publish the entire chapter and then at the bottom have like this classic blog comment thread, but you lose so much when you do that. So this, uh, because you can comment on a given paragraph, it really encourages super granular, obsessive, compulsive comments like, I really wouldn't use this word, I'd use this word, I wouldn't say this now, I'd say it later, uh, which is exactly the type of comment that we want for a book. And we've gotten thousands of comments. And I think the application of this for uh, open data is uh, if you're dealing with textual data, like uh, proceedings of Congress or something, I think this is a, a way that you could, you know, do stuff with it instead of just, you know, having a comment thread on the bottom of the thing, just integrate the comments with every single paragraph. So that's that. Yeah, I'm going to jump in with a, a sort of a way to think about a comment. Um, a lot of times we think, oh, there's a document on the web, but we want people to be able to annotate it or do something with it. Let's make it a wiki. And I think with certain kinds of documents, say the Congressional Record or the Federal Register or something like that, it's more it's a fundamentally different object. You've got a static thing that a, a master source is putting out. And then you may have different organizations that want to annotate it. So for example, you could have a system where, where I want to see the view of this document as the uh, um, National Organization for Women thinks of it. And then you basically type in their name and out come the annotations of people who are you know, commenting on their behalf or something. There are all sorts of overlays and, and views that you can get. But the point is that to keep a static object in the center and have annotations attached to it is not really the same as a wiki. So we, we need to be careful not to use the wrong tool for the job. That's a fundamental issue we yeah. face in case law because we know our case law is going to go up into dozens of different places. And everybody wants to see it in a wiki because they want to annotate. And so that's one of the architectural issues that we're dealing yeah. with. I think this might be a much better architecture for that sort of thing. Some of them are broken, by the way, because uh, we've closed chat, we closed comments a while ago because we published the book. Yeah. It's coming to the printers this week. So anyway, I'm sure that during this spare moment, Adrian will turn this into a fully packaged open source project. <laughs> well, you, know, you can go to the home page and we have a link to the JavaScript library that we use. Short folks, because we got like half a dozen of these to get through. So this is kind of a 
five minute glimpse of, of what's going on. Right. Uh, so basic stuff like every book gets a page, every memory gets a page, every memory gets an RSS feed. But the interesting things I think are what comes from when you think about this from a journalism perspective, and that's uh, which members have missed the most votes, which is a simple query, but you also, some of these people have good reasons, like this guy died. <laughs> this, she died. So originally we had just a simple database query that you know basically reverse, reverse order by how many they missed, but every one of these is just a little database field that the reporter populates based on whether there's a good reason for that. So it's a level integration for reporting and data. Also, uh, late night votes, votes that haven't made at night because that's when the sketchy stuff tends to happen. And then uh, votes with narrow margins, wide margins. Different, uh, I'd encourage you to explore it if you're at all interested, different ways of looking at it. And there's journalism mixed in with it, but the journalism isn't an entire article written by a reporter, it's a one column filled in by a reporter in the database. That's it.